Welcome to the New Day Show. This is Rick Kendall. And this is Liz Kendall. Hey. Hey. We're in a new place. Yay. <laughs> we love it, too. Yeah, yeah. I just saw a little bit of our living room and, and uh, of the front area, and mm -hmm. we're excited oh, yeah. to be in Stewart, Florida, just wow. really 15 miles uh, south from where we were. Yeah, it's not that far. It's like maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. But it's it makes a big difference. But it's just another us. city. <laughs> yeah, and it's more than a geographical mood move. We just really feel like God is putting us in place. Yes. In a new season, a new time, for some expanded uh, ministry. It, it really is, and it has is you know everything that is of God, the steps of God that we take, <clears throat> they're always significant. Yeah. They always mean something, mm -hmm. and if we're hearing with our spiritual ears, we will we will hear what God's saying yeah. about the move. So we're receiving a lot of that. Oh yeah, you know, in order to to really move to a new level or a new season, if you will, yeah, uh, a new time, new maybe fresh assignments, yeah, in your God ordained purpose. Sometimes it, it well all the time it requires dropping some old things off. Well, when we say the word new, <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, sometimes people tend to think of the word new as it just now happened. Mm. Uh, new, what they think of as never happened before, so therefore it's new. But when God speaks about new, he means something different because where mm. God is concerned, new didn't just happen when we discovered it. He saw us in this new place <laughs> that we're, yes. we're in now before we got here. Yeah. If you are in the plan of God, I like, I think as Dr. Miles Monroe says, uh, God starts at the end and then he begins. Mm. He is the Alpha and Omega. In fact, you know, from the scripture that I thought of this morning as we were preparing to share oh, this. Yeah. And Revelations. Revelation 21, 21. and 5. It says, he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, behold means, let me have your attention. I make all things new. new. And he sent it to me, write it, for these words are true and faithful. And he said, I am the Alpha. Or he says, it is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning mm -hmm. and the end. Yeah. And I will give to him that's thirsty of the fountain of the water of life freely. Wow. So he's opening things that are new to us yeah but his new began in the beginning that's why he say i make all things new but he makes all things new in us yeah yeah he already made everything yeah that's it right but he makes those things new in us yeah. he already he they're not new to him yeah but all things new here on earth in us because the key word here uh, is I make, mm. I make all things new. He didn't say I create all things new. Yeah. He already created. That's good. When he created it according to his blueprint, his pattern, his yeah. constitution, it was new. Uh -huh. And it never got old. But old gets on top of the new yeah. when people are outside of the pattern. So when he said I make all things new, I hear this for you today. That's yeah, good. He's saying, I appoint you back to the original yeah. plan. And I was going to say that. He has, he has everyone that he created, he has an appointed time for yeah. them to be able to hear. If yeah. they don't want to receive, that's up to them. Mm -hmm. But they can hear who's making all things new. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And it's a revelation. Yeah. Amen. And we are in a new place. Yes, we are. We love We're it. in a new season of our ministry of... God is just opening the globe to us. Yeah. And we're traveling uh, so many places, and we're asking God to make them. We want to only go to his assignments, yeah. uh, what he has for us to invest this word of his kingdom into. You know, when we are 
are in, doing his assignments, when you're doing his assignments, you feel successful. Yeah. Because that's what success really is. Yeah. It's not what the world talks about success being, mm -hmm. but is doing that that God has assigned us yeah. to do so that we can feel that purpose in this earth. Because you're exactly right, because purpose is the original <coughs> intent. You know, it's not a matter of trying to get something new to happen. People try yeah. new cars, they try new houses, uh, you know, all these new things, and they think, well, this will make me feel new. But those things get old. That's right. But it's about uncovering, getting the junk off that's preventing you from seeing the new, the original pattern that God has in you right now. Ask Him to show you how to cut away all that junk. Mm -hmm. So you can see He is making, meaning He's appointing you back to your original new that gives you peace and, when and you, joy. When you feel that purpose, exactly as I was going to say, when you, feel, when you feel that purpose and you know mm -hmm. that you are here on purpose mm -hmm. and are fulfilling your purpose, you will have that peace. Absolutely. And again, it's great to be with you in our new day. Yes. And we call it a new place geographically, but it's a new season for our ministry, and we're excited. We'll be sharing some great things. We have a convention coming up very soon. We're going to give you details. We're going to be in New York and, and uh, Orlando and a few <clears> other <throat> places. And we'll give you those details next week. But until then, we love you. Please write to us. Uh, if you're looking at this on Facebook, give us a comment. If you're seeing this on uh, another place and there's a place to contact us, we also have on the screen our email. Let us hear from you. Because we're a family. We are. And we're in this together. Yes. We're on the journey together. Yes, we are. And until next week, God bless you. God bless you.